Alright, what's up YouTube? Just wanted to show some blades this afternoon. Um, this is just, what I have is a pair of knives from three different companies. I have two from Hanshu, two from Mtech, and two from a company called Granway. And um, all of these blades are done in 440C, 440 stainless steel, um, 440A, I believe. But actually, I only have one that's done in 7CR 13 MOV, and that would be the Hanshu Kukri. Um, I see nothing wrong with that knife steel, and um, it just makes beautiful knives. It really does. Um, but let's let's start out. First one is going to be from uh, Granway. This is a Karambit. It has beautiful linen micarta scales, tri lanyard holes, beautiful full tang Karambit. Fit and finish was really good on this knife. Really good. Feels really good in the back cut. Feels really good forward, and it really feels good. This is a good feeling little karambit. This would be a really awesome self-defense tool. And another one from Gramway is this buoy. It's like a recurve survival type thing. Beautiful mirror polish. I love the grind lines on this knife. I love the little fuller. It's only on one side, but it's it's really cool. I like to see a fuller in a blade. And these teeth do work. They really do. They're they're an odd design. If you can tell but they really do work. I bet they would chew wood like a beaver. When I say work now, I, I don't know, but I know they're they're really aggressive. So they would have to they would have to do something. But this is a really awesome knife. And Gramway is a good budget company and they have a lot of really cool designs. Next is going to be the MTech, and this is in 440 stainless. And this is a beautiful finished blade. It really is. This is from their Extreme line. And let me see if I can find the. It's the 8130, the MX 8130. It's a rubber handle really nice pommel nice guard there's no voids between that I like that it's really light in the hand it's an awesome blade I like this one And y'all all know this one, the MTEG Raptor. I don't know why MTEG doesn't CNC more of their blades, because they could take some of the old classic designs, maybe like a Randall or an old SOG or something, and CNC machine it in this 440 stainless uh, steel. That thick, man, they, they couldn't keep them on the shelves, I would bet. Beautiful micarta handle, beautiful red scales, or red liners, excuse me. I love the micarta on this blade. And it's a beast. I mean, it, it really is. Who would not love to own a knife 
with a spine that big. It says six millimeter. You usually don't find this. That is seven millimeter. I checked it with my micrometer and I have a friend who has one that's a little above seven millimeters. So you can't go wrong with a Raptor. Man, a good kydex sheath. Man, this thing would be awesome. But it, it comes in a really nice leather sheath, so. All right, and this is the Hansu. And this is another in 440 stainless. Just a beautiful finish. Beautiful grinds. I love the spine. Has a rubber handle. It's a little different from the m -Tech. Really nice pommel. No voids. Except where the fuller ran down. And that's the only difference I could find between these two is the fuller on the Hanshu runs all the way through the handle and the m -Tech, it stops right above the logo. Other than that, identical knives. And my next one is the Hanshu Kukri. I wanted to show this because I wanted Slingshot Warrior to see it. He has the Bosun toothpick, I believe. I would like to acquire that. I'm going to uh, keep that on the list. It's a beautiful kukri. It's really sharp, has a good edge. I think the Hanshus have a, a small tang here. I don't know how, you know, as far as rough and tough goes, but they're beautiful knives. They really are. And they're not that expensive. So it really depends on what you want to use the knife for. But I just wanted to show you guys those. And uh, I'll let you kind of see some of the finishes that you'll find in 440C or 440B or 440A or 440 stainless. Just you can get beautiful knives in that steel. And it's all in how you take care of them. And um, this Gramway, I mean, that is a beautiful mirror polish. I mean, it, it rivals that of high-end blades with mirror polishes. It really does. They did an outstanding job with this. And take one more time. Just a beautiful, beautiful knife. And I would really love a Kydex sheath for one of these. I really would. I would really love one where you could put the across your back like that. That would be so wicked. And the Soul Snatcher right here. The Raptor. I mean, how cool is that name? <laughs> This is such an awesome knife. And if you're going to acquire one of these, now would be the time to try and find it because this is one of those knives that's going to only go up in value as time goes on because um, they're going to last forever. So there's always going to be a collector's market for it. So if you can find this one now, it would be time to buy this one. Beautiful Hanshu Kukri. This is a really cool knife. Beautiful finish. This is the sheath that comes with the Kukri. It's uh, open out the side sheath. Nice retention straps. It's about like a hibbing sheet. Has a really large belt loop for it. This is for the smaller Hanshu. It's tooled into the leather there. Really nice snaps. Really big belt loop. Nice retention strap. 
really nice. This would be the Gramway Karambit sheath, just old cardboard ballistic nylon type sheath. This would be the Raptor sheath, pretty thick leather, really big belt loop, retention strap, but for a knife that heavy, this wouldn't last long. So you really want to think about a Kodak sheath or another quality leather sheath. And then the Mtech smaller one. It's just a ballistic nylon, protect the blade kind of sheath. All right, guys. Hope everybody enjoyed it. I just wanted to show those today. Give you a look at just how cool 440 steel can look. Everybody stay safe out there, and let's remember 22 vets a day commit suicide in the United States. We need to get that word out. That number has to change. The statistic can't stay that way forever. We have to make a difference, guys. Everybody stay safe. This is Donovan from Mississippi, and y'all have a good one.